Hello, Maple Ridge. Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to work on packet four, second grade, fractions of shapes. Thought we'd switch it up and start telling a couple jokes today. Anyone like jokes? Oh yeah, I love jokes. Go ahead, lay it on me. All right, ready? Are monsters good at math? I don't know, are they? Not unless you count Dracula. <laughs> That's pretty good. Give me another one. All right. Why does nobody talk to circles? I know that. Because there's no point. That's weird. All right, boys and girls, welcome back. So today we're gonna work on fractions of shapes for our second grade math, it's packet number four. I'm gonna show you the page that I took out of that packet and I'll walk you right through it. It's this page right here and we'll make it big so you can see it. And we'll write right on here and help you through it. So I have a couple different strategies for you. Excuse me, buddy. <clears throat> I have some actual shapes that I am gonna use. And I have a puzzle, and this wasn't very expensive, and you might even be able to make some of these on your own. It tells you the different fractions and the shapes, and you can piece them together like this. So we'll work on that. So this is the first one, actually. This is one fourth, and this works like that, pieces together like a puzzle. Pretty neat. Good way to learn your fractions, right? I hope so. All right, so let's see if we can just draw right on here. I'm gonna use my pen and I'm gonna color this in. Now, I'm sure you'll do much better coloring, but I'm just gonna kind of shade in one section because boys and girls, they have a fraction that has a number on the top, the one, a line, and then a four. The number on the bottom is always how many pieces that shape is broken into. The number on top is that many pieces, one piece. So if this says two thirds, that means there's one, two, three pieces. Well, that shape is broken into three pieces. And then I'm going to color in, I'm gonna shade in two pieces. Should have read the directions first, because it does say shade each figure to show the fraction. So we jumped right in there. <clears throat> so this is my second one. And two of those pieces are shaded now. Okay, this one says one half. Let's jump back over to this. This is the shape that I have. You might have some shapes at home like this, or you might even be able to make one. I'm going to draw right on here. This is a dry erase marker, so I can do this and it'll erase pretty easily. I'm gonna draw one half. See if you can see it. There you go. So one half is colored in. You can do that on your paper too. Pretty easy. So that is a square and half of it is shaded, one half. Let's go down to this shape. Check this one out, made this one too. So I have a shape that's pretty similar, right? I'm gonna shade in one sixth. That means this is broken into six pieces, only one of them. So think of this as a pizza. You have a pizza and you broke it into six slices you're gonna give one slice away. Well, how big is that slice gonna be? That's gonna be that size. Let me see it. All right, let's shade it on our paper. <clears throat> no, I'm going a little bit fast. You can slow down the video and make sure that it's going well for you. All right, let's check out this shape. It's kind of like a square again, but this time they broke this into thirds. There's one here in the middle, one on the outside. So I only need to shade in one slice of that. Okay, got it? What do you guys think? I have some of my helpers here today. Sorry, what are you doing? You're backwards, turn around, buddy. Okay, this isn't so bad. I woke up early and I got to going on my math. It's going well. That's great, I'm glad you're up early and you're working hard, buddy. Okay, let's check out this last, last one, Chris Law. This one is back to my puzzle. I have a piece that looks like this. Boom, five sixths. That's what it says on my paper right here. Well, how do I shade that in? I shade it in to look like this. So if I have a circle and I slice it into six pieces and then I give five away, I only have one left, right? There's one that's not shaded. It's gonna look like that. All right, let's do it on here together. So color this in, but make sure you have at least one piece that is not colored in. It's not very easy to color here on my laptop, but. I will do the best I can. And you see how these are shaded. There's five of those. And there's one slice 
that's left out. So five sixths is colored in. That's a pretty large amount. That's taking up almost the entire circle. Let's come down to the bottom. What do you think there, other Mr. Pashad? You want to go down to the bottom? I think he does. All right. It says, tell what fraction of each shape is shaded. So this is kind of giving you the opposite. It's shading it, and now you're going to give the fractions like this. You're going to be giving this piece out. So this one, I think you can do something like this again. Look at this. This was the one that was up top, right? It was sideways. Now, it's kind of up and down like that. You see that? And the bottom half is shaded. But they broke it into four. So if I broke mine into four, let me grab my marker. <clears throat> it's not just a half now. This one has another line right here. Not the straightest line, but you get the idea. So I have to put four on the bottom because my square now is broken into one, two, three, four pieces. And two of them are shaded in. So I'm gonna try to draw with this. This is gonna be the number two. And this is gonna be the number four because I had one, two, three, four pieces. Two of them are shaded, two fourths. Let's look at this circle. Looks like this. Let's see if this fits in here. That is one half because that circle is broken into two slices. One half of that is shaded in. One over two. All right, back to like a rectangle looking shape here. One, two, three, four, five. I like to do that first, actually. I like to put that on the bottom. <clears throat> and then I count, well, how many are shaded? One, two, three, four. Put my four in. Matt, are you over there? Is Matt here? I'm here, I'm feeling great today. Why does that guy look so angry? I don't know, Matt, I'm not sure, but I'm glad that you're not angry today. Good job, I'm glad that you came over. All right, let's check out this one. We got our shape broken into three triangles. One, two, three. If it's broken into three, that's on the bottom. One of those shapes, one of those triangles is shaded. One third. Good job. Anyone else over there want to come in? Susie? Oh, yeah. I am super freaked out by that guy. He's big and he looks mad. No, he's not mad. No, no, no. Here, give him a little kiss. There you go, Susie. Okay. Let's come back to our shapes. How many, are, how many are in this shape? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six shapes. You counting along out there? If I can hear you or not, let's see. We got six shapes. And we have one, two, three, four, five that are shaded in. Five sixths. That's how we would say that. Wow, this one has a lot of small shapes. I'm going to have to get close to this one to see it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, eight shapes. Oh my goodness. Eight slices of that shape. And there are one, two, three that are shaded in. And that is how we're going to break apart our, our shapes. So that is our fraction of shapes, boys and girls. So make sure that you stop by and check out all of our videos, second grade. We have lots of help on our math and our reading. And we want to tell you that we miss you and hope that you have a great summer. If we're not able to see you sooner, but um, you guys take care. We'll leave you with one last joke. You ready for this one? All right. I'll do this one. Okay. I'll just slide over there, buddy. What do you call dudes who love math? Algebras. All right. See you later, boys and girls.